Saskatoon textile artist Monica Kinner has always relied on multiple streams of income. She sells work in galleries and boutiques and also holds workshops. But those opportunities are disappearing as Omicron takes hold. Several events have been cancelled, people aren't signing up for workshops and businesses are limiting customers. One place I have the art has already closed their business to the public. They, they're doing takeout only because of COVID and regardless of lockdown or not, it's people are shutting down because of staff getting COVID, right? Without the province implementing capacity restrictions, Kinner can't access the Canada worker lockdown benefit. The federal benefit pays $300 a week before taxes to workers impacted by capacity restrictions of 50% or more. Saskatchewan is the only province or territory ineligible for the benefits. It's just such a ridiculous thing because it's such a simple solution. It's he just ha- our premier just has to make the call and that's that's all. It's just a matter of saying, "Okay, limit the gatherings." Musicians are also feeling the impact of the Omicron wave. On Monday, the Regina Symphony Orchestra announced its January and February shows have been postponed. It's really our objective to keep everybody safe, whether or not the government puts restrictions in in Saskatchewan. This musician and audio technician estimates he won't earn any money this month. It's a little frustrating that the lack of of uh, restrictions can actually is actually causing problems instead of instead of just keeping the economy going. Byron Chambers says he hopes the fifth wave is a quick one, or he might have to look for a new profession. As for Monica Kinner, she plans to ramp up her online sales to make ends meet. Yasmin Ghanaya, CBC News, Saskatoon.